We're going to be working on multiplying perfect squares. Let's start by looking at an example using whole numbers before we move on to variables. For example, let's look at 10 plus 2 quantity squared. Remember that when we square something, we multiply it by itself. So this would become 10 plus 2 times 10 plus 2. Let's solve this using our multiplication array. Some people also call this a box method. So that would be 10 plus 2 on one side of the array and 10 plus 2 on the other. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 2 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 times 2 is 4. To get my final answer, I need to add up all the numbers in the boxes, and I'll get 144. This should not be very surprising. I'm sure many of you already knew that 12 squared is 144. Now let's look at an example using variables, x plus 3 quantity squared. First, I'm going to write that out as two binomials, which would be x plus 3 times x plus 3. Again, we'll set up our array, x times x, which is x squared, x times 3, which is 3x, 3 times x, which is 3x again, and 3 times 3 which is 9. Again, to find my final answer, I need to add up the terms in the squares. While I'm doing that, I need to make sure I combine my like terms, which are the 3x and the 3x. This would give me a final answer of x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now let's go ahead and check that problem. We are saying that x plus 3 quantity squared is equivalent to the expanded form, which was x squared plus 6x plus 9. If this is correct, it'd be true for all values of x. I'm going to pick the value 2 to represent x because I like having easy numbers to work with. I'll substitute 2 everywhere there's an x in x plus 3 quantity squared. So that'd be 2 plus 3 quantity squared or 5 squared, which is 25. Now I'm going to look at what we got when we expanded the expression. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Again, I'm going to plug in a 2 everywhere I see an x. So it becomes 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 9. That gives us 4 plus 12 plus 9 for a total of 25. Both sides are equal to 25, so we know that our two expressions are equivalent. Let's look at another example. I've got 2x minus 4 quantity squared. Again, I want to write out my binomials. So it's 2x minus 4 times 2x minus 4. I'm going to set up my multiplication array, and then I'm going to multiply out my factors. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x and negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. Again, you'll notice I have like terms, so when I'm giving my final answer, I want to make sure I combine those. So that would give me a total of 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. As you practice multiplying binomial squares, see if you can find any patterns. 